All right, so on today's episode of Mario Kart Wii CTGP, who will we play as? We got a lot of good options. I think today, though, we will be playing as... Let's go, Kimbu. I, I like Kimbu. He gets a bad rap. All right, we, um, what vehicle to be in? I feel on a cart today. Maybe the off-roader? Oh, Flame Flyer looks pretty sweet as Kimbu, actually. You know what? Um, let's go back to Piranha Prowler. I'm probably gonna regret this, but, but let's just see how it goes. I'm I actually like playing in the kind of bad vehicles from time to time. Today we are on the Green Star Cup. We have GBA Sunset Wilds, Fump Bump Forest, N64 Yoshi Valley, and N64 Wario Stadium. All right, <laughs> Thump Bump Forest is the only wild card in here. But the others I'm all familiar with. And here we go. GBA Sunset Wilds. Very underrated track. Uh, let's see if they have the Sunset gimmick. Probably not. And also let's see if they have the actual Wigwam Shy Guys. <gasps> that looks promising. They do have the Wigwam Shy Guys. I missed that in the Mario Kart 8 version. I know we have the Prospector Shy Guys, but come on. The Wigwam Shy Guys are way cooler. And, of course, I'm in a uh, bad handling vehicle on a course that has some tight turns. Oh, they added rocks as well. Wait, they actually might be the sunset gimmick. I saw the sunset flicker a little bit. Too bad we don't have the music. Sunset Wilds has a gorgeous soundtrack. No, I don't want to power up or anything. Oh, yeah. These turns were not designed for the Piranha Prowler. However, that off-road is really not that big of a deal. Okay, so the Wigwam Shy Guys don't function the way they did in the GBA version. All right, really? GBA version, if you hit the Wigwams, uh, the Shy Guys would pop out, and they would latch onto your vehicle and try to steer you off the road. Yes, it is sunsetting. Mario Kart 8, you have no excuse for not including the sunset part of Sunset Wilds. If a bunch of modders for Mario Kart Wii were able to do it, you can do it in, with your massive team on your state-of-the-art game system. Oh, man. Okay, this is not a good course for the Piranha Prowler. But we got the Gold Mushroom. Yeah, this vehicle just literally does not have good enough handling to take these turns. Handling or drifting. It doesn't help that this vehicle is unbelievably gigantic, and I literally can't avoid the Shy Guys. Oh, good. Triple mushrooms. This is what we need... I need the first. I need the second triple mushroom to recover from the first triple mushroom. I like the course, but man, this track needs to be wider. This is not a track that is built for 12 players. Who is Mario? One bad turn, man, and then all of a sudden we are in 10th place. Alright, I gotta get a power-up here. Nope! Didn't get a power-up. Oh wow, they've got the coins on the ground. I'm in 11th! Why am I getting shrunk? Bullet Bill. That's not a Bullet Bill. I got second after all of that? I'll take it! <laughs> wow! Power up pull at the end came through. Alright, Donkey Kong's in the lead. That course we did not have a hope in heaven of beating in the Prana Prowler because, yeah, that course... You should have made the course wider because literally you cannot get through that course on the Piranha Prowler without breaking at several points. Thump Bump Forest. Oh, it's like a Halloween forest. Okay, I love this already. I like the spooky theming. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, it looks like you're going out go-karting on Halloween night. 
Oh, this, oh, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Things that go thump and bump in the night. Oh! Like the jack-o'-lantern boo looks so boss! And we can pump in our own music here! Can't wait. Boop, 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 boop. It looks like this course is actually appropriately sized. We got the arrows telling us which way to go. Oh, this is a fantastic course. I'm starting to see why people view this as one of the weakest vehicles in the game. I'm trying to figure out what this vehicle has going for it. Okay, that's too dark to see. So I'm calling foul on that. I know it's a spooky themed course, but you can't just make it pitch black. Oh, and by the way, I'm playing this on a TV with a high brightness setting. So I can actually see things a little bit brighter, I think, than you can on the uh, YouTube video. And I still can't couldn't see the way to go, so that's great. Now we go for Luigi Mansion. Oh, hey, it's the, uh, the punching ghost guy from New Super Mario Bros. If we go this way, it didn't look like there were power-ups. No, there's not. So what's the point of that way? But I had shells spiraling around me. Wario, move it. Oh man, even getting like a boost in a direction is not always the best thing if you're in this vehicle. Because it can overcorrect you too much. I like the leaf piles on the course, though. Taken for Maple Treeway, obviously, but it fits with the Halloween theme. Final lap, here we go. Forgot the trick. Okay, I was tricking there, so I'm not sure why Pop Walk's spinning me around like that, but, oh well. I still have a nice, handsome lead. <laughs> I like the spiders just chilling in the trees, that's a good touch. I think the Piranha Prowler is a little better than the Jet Setter, but yeah, this is a top contender for worst vehicle. And I know people hate the booster seat, but it at least has an S plus in terms of its visual design. Jet Setter just doesn't really have anything going for it. <laughs> it doesn't even look cool. Alright, there we go. That'll make up for last race. Oh, and Donkey Kong won fifth, so that should uh, even the gap a little bit. There we are. We're now in first place with Baby Peach and DK tied for second. And Wario not too far behind. Sweet. All right, the remaining two courses I am familiar with. So next we've got Yoshi Valley. Is this going to be the real Yoshi Valley or the new Yoshi Valley? New Yoshi Valley. All right. There's something to be said about the original Yoshi Valley just basically being a maze and you couldn't tell who was in first or in what position, but I like the new one too. I just feel like it's a completely different course. However, having said that, if the new revamp is still fun, I like it and I do like it. So this is a fun course. Oh, but it's playing the Yoshi Falls music. Oh, I don't think so. 
Is there a single human being on planet Earth that actually likes Yoshi Falls? Wait, oh, this is an off-road area? Okay, well that's gonna change the route I take. That is not off-road in MK8 slash Deluxe. All right, that was completely uncalled for. Really? All right. Well, Daisy's on my hit list now. Oh, oh. How serendipitous. I thought Daisy was in first and I was gonna ram her with the uh, the invincibility, but that didn't happen. I don't think so. <laughs> really? That turn is impossible <laughs> if you're in the Piranha Prowler. Oh, really? And it's bringing me back before the turn? Just to rub the salt in the wound. Oh my gosh, that egg does not have good AI pathfinding. Oh, so long, Daisy. Daisy's not even in, like, the top bracket, so I wonder why she's racing so well now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. And for those who are wondering, well, why aren't you taking the other path? Because this one is the fastest. <laughs> That's why. Oh my gosh, the egg is a chain chomp that's been retextured. I heard it go, ruff, ruff. Uh oh, Piranha Prowler touched grass at one point. We still won first. Why did Daisy do so well that race? She was in like the bottom bracket. She's only number five overall and she won third. Oof. Oh, the Marios are not doing so hot. All right, one course left. N64 Wario Stadium. The only N64 course that has not been brought back in any official Mario Kart game. Oh, and it looks like this one got a glow up. Oh, this looks good. I, okay, good. We still have Wario's face plastered all over the side. That's good. If they take that out, then it's not actually Wario Stadium. And also, we can't jump over the wall anymore, which, that's good. Oh, this could actually be a great Piranha Prowler course. Oh, it's still three laps. I was kind of hoping they'd lower it to two. That's okay. I'm sorry. Did they seriously not put in the Waluigi Stadium music? Well, I'm pumping the Waluigi Stadium in editing. All right, what is with these? What is these CPU's problems? They're all going out of their way to hit me when I'm down. Oh wait, never mind. I don't know why. I thought they were playing some battle music. Never mind. This is the regular Wario Stadium music. Never mind. I'm not pumping Waluigi Stadium into editing. Ooh. I like this. This breaks up the monotony of the dirt. I swear I thought they were playing the battle course music for this. Like a da 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 Oh, this is a great revamp, though. I love this. Way better than the N64 version. Where it's just like, I hope you like dirt and nothing else. Granted, this is still a lot of dirt. But at least it, it's been zipped up a bit. 
the shit you get in this slip. Hey Daisy! <laughs> Can I help you find the ball? Why did the red shell do that? It blatantly hit the wall. That wasn't even in the direction Wario was in. Smell you later, Wario. Literally, because you use garlic toothpaste. I do not like the sound of that green shell behind me. What is wrong with this green shell? Wario just tried to suicide bomb me. You deserve it. Oh, that's right. We still have one more lap. It's a long track, but I think you can still potentially justify a three, three laps on it. Although I do think two laps probably would be better. Baby Peach! You're in the booster seat. You couldn't have caught up. Why? Here we go. I like the crowd and I like how it's, uh, you can see the nighttime sky from here. This really feels like it is like a monster truck derby or something. Come on. Back here, baby Peach. Never mind. Thanks for tanking that for me, baby Peach. Is that seriously the first blue shell of the circuit? That's astonishing considering it's Mario Kart Wii. And there we go! Wow! We won first on three of them and second on the other. That's a good circuit, considering how awful <laughs> the Sunset Wilds race went. There we go, first place by quite a margin. Not too shabby, if I uh, do say so myself. <laughs> do, do, do. We got first place C rank. Yeah, that makes sense for Sunset Wilds, honestly. Well, there we are. Next cup, here we come. All right, well... To follow up us being on one of the worst vehicles in the entire game, let's go to one of the best vehicles. So let's play as Bowser Jr. and we're going Mach Bike. The second best vehicle in the game by popular opinion. Okay, we're now on the Goomba Cup. All right, you know it's gonna be just a bunch of all-stars. We've got GCN Dry Dry Desert, I like that. GBA Riverside Park, that's good. Siberian Chateau and Concord Town. Two retro tracks and two custom tracks. I'm looking forward to this one. Could be good, could be bad. We'll just have to wait and see what fate has in store for us. So first up, Dry Dry Desert. Please don't be the Mario Kart 8 version. Okay, it looks like it's the double dive. Nope, it's the Mario Kart 8 version. This is not dry, dry desert. This is wet, wet desert. Let's just throw a lake in the middle of the desert. This will be great, even though it's dry, dry desert. No, I will not let this go. It's stupid. It makes no sense. They only put it in to fulfill their underwater quota, and it was better in Double Dash. Not sure what hit me there. What desert music is this? This is not desert hills, nor dry dry ruins. Is there a weird sand battle course that I forgot about? I am not used to inside drift. This is a massive overcorrection after the Piranha Prowler. Okay. The geysers are better designed here than they were in Mario Kart 8. I like how they just rocket you forwards. That's pretty cool. Ooh! Wow! That poor Pokey. 
I'm not going to test to see if they brought back the giant piranha in the Sarlacc pit. I hope they did, though. That was another big miss that Mario Kart 8 did. <laughs> Seriously, like, why did they put an underwater section in dry, dry desert? The only explanation is that, like, the people in Mario Kart 8 were making the courses. It's like, hey, by the way, at least 15 of the courses you're making have to have an underwater section. It's like, but, it's like, no buts, at least 15 courses. They're like, I guess we'll throw in, like, a maple syrup underwater section on Sweet Sweet Canyon. And uh, let's throw a lake in the middle of Dry Dry Desert. It'll be great. Hey, let's make Wario Stadium partially underwater. Yeah, why not? It's a it's mud. What if, what if the Haunted Mansion course was flooded? With no explanation. It's like, that's why some of these tracks are worse than they could have been. No, I don't need a fake power-up. No! Come on! I was so close! No! I'm gonna freaking lose because I got a fake power-up at the end. And literally no other reason. Boo! I'm booing my loss on that one. I'm also booing that you adapted the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version of that track. Not, not very good. Hopefully the remainder of the courses will be better than that. Next we got GBA Riverside Park. All right. This is definitely the original GBA version. This is the opposite problem. You should have adapted the Mario Kart 8 version. Although to be fair, I haven't updated CTGP in a while. So for all I know, there could be a new version of this track that did adapt. Mario Kart 8's version. Still though, if we're not going by Super Circuit Physics, this should be a lot more fun. Yeah, this, this course makes sense for DK Jungle Parkway music. Not sarcasm. I don't know why it said I was in fourth for a second there. It definitely wasn't. Let's go! Like, there's not much to say about this track. It's like, yep, it's a dirt road with colored blocks as the fences. That's the theme. I guess it's kind of by a river a little bit. Oh, no! That was embarrassing. Oh, no. Luigi is not winning. Not this time. Get back here, Luigi. I think he's in the same vehicle on there. The mock bike. Oh, come on! Oh, yes, who could forget about this glorious power up? Take that, Luigi. Haha. <laughs> you deserve it. Right, this time we're not falling into the river. Do 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 do. Yoink. Oh. Not getting the mini turbos as quickly as I expected. How is that even? I was mashing the jump button. Or the trick button. Um. Objection, Your Honor. No, we're not losing to Luigi. Not again. Oh good, Luigi fell behind. Good. He's gonna win fourth place. Good job, Bowser Jr. Alright, I mean that course was just very meh. Not really a lot to say about it. The two retro tracks thus far were not great. Hopefully the two custom tracks will be better. Only time will tell though. 
So next up was... Not Concord Town. Siberian Chateau. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, it's like an it's like an ice palace. Okay, I can get behind this. Oh wait, I think I've seen this course before. I don't think I've played on it, but I've seen uh, Troy play this course. He does a lot of Mario Kart Wii content. That is a fancy mini map. And we got the Sherbet Land music. Cool. Love the dark blue snowflake power ups. Really, really fitting. Got the flops. He's giving me slight icicle pyramid vibes from Diddy Kong Racing. In terms of the theming. Oh, this is cool. This is like a dark. These are dark colors, but I can see where I'm going. Hit somebody with that. <laughs> oh -ho! All right, this is a fun track. I really enjoy this. There's a lot of straightaways, but they actually make the straightaways interesting and fun to play on. Oh, this is great. Lap two. I'm pretty sure if you have some kind of a mushroom or like a giant boost, you can take the fountain and rock it up here as a shortcut. Maybe only on 200cc. I have learned a lot of times, of, like, in the past where I've been on a track in CTGP, and I'm like, that doesn't even work. Like, that shortcut doesn't even work. It's because there are 200cc specific shortcuts in uh, CTGP. So that fountain one at the bottom, that looks like it's 200cc specific. That's a lot of height. Either that or it's like... The fountain gives you a way bigger jump than you're expecting. Oh my gosh, that breakaway that I have, though. I have a big enough breakaway I could test out the fountain truck. I'm definitely not if I'm shrunk. No way. Was that a shell? Or was that a... No, that had to have been a shell that just raced by there. I don't know how that could have even be. Nobody's around me. Yeah, look at the lead I have. This is absurd. This isn't even a difficult course, so I don't know how they fell this far behind. Am I... Am I that skilled at the game that if I'm not getting pelted by stuff that... And if I'm in a good vehicle, I can get this breakaway? Or is there something on the track that's causing the AI to slip up? It's probably just I'm on the second best vehicle in the game. No, I really like this course. This has been way better than the two retros that appeared before this. Siberian Chateau? That's a great course. I'll have to remember that as a custom track. Really well done. Oh, darn it. Luigi won the second. Still, I've got a seven-point lead ahead of him. Not too bad. One race left. As long as I uh, don't lose too bad to Luigi here, we still win overall. Now it's time for Concord Town. Okay. So this is like Sunset Delfino uh, Square. Or Delfino Pier. Whatever it's called. All right, all right. We'll see how it races. We'll see the mini-map as well. A lot of 90-degree turns. Expertly weave in between the power-ups. This honestly looks like it's just a reverse Delfino here. Or Delfino Square. There's a race course and a battle course that both have Delfino as the prefix. One of them is Delfino Square, the other is Pier. And I can't keep them straight. Really? So soon? Hmm. 
Ow. Oh, that's not a fountain you can uh, jump over. That's my bad. Alright, let's see how lap two fares before I get my verdict. Alright, Bowser. No need for any of that. Oh no! In the drink! Was there another blue shell? I thought I heard another blue shell. If so, I guess I avoided it by going in the wall. This is ridiculous. That is the third or fourth blue shell of this race. And we're only on lap two. Okay, King Boo just zipped around that corner way tighter than any human player ever could. Alright, my, my thoughts on this course, not a huge fan. Much like the real Delfino Square, not a huge fan of the course. I appreciate what it's trying to do, it just seems like it's Delfino Square, but not quite as nice looking. I like these bridges, they kind of boost you ahead. I don't like all the 90 degree turns though. Especially since some of these can come up on you pretty sneakily. Still though, no. I'll duck on it. Luigi one second again. That's okay. Alright, well, Siberian Chateau was really good. The other courses were mediocre or not great. Otherwise, though, two cups today. None of none of them had a level that I would say was outright stinky. So, I I will take that, and I will take that first place trophy with one star ranking. Even though I didn't win first every. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll do two more cups next time. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and God bless everyone.